Today's tasks. Catch the queen in flight. Reflect on the mistakes made during the fall reinforcement of bee colonies with reserve queens. It all started when wasps destroyed one of the colonies with a reserve queen. So, I packed the unfortunate queen in a cage with some bees and brought her inside. At the same time, I took two frames with bees from another colony. The bees I took were older. I placed the frames with the bees in a box and closed it. The next day, I placed my queen in this small, queenless split. As you can see, the bees are feeding her, and she's alive and healthy. Everything was going well. The queen lived with the bees for two more days, though she remained in the cage the entire time. Next, I prepared a warm hive where the main bee colony is housed in the lower chamber, and the split was placed in the upper super chamber. In the evening, I moved the frames with the bees and released the queen, with whom they had spent the past two days. The morning inspection didn't reveal any problems. Everything was calm, but during the day I heard the loud squeaking of the queen. Upon further inspection, I noticed a ball of bees. The morning inspection didn't reveal any problems. Everything was calm. However, later in the day, I heard the loud squeaking of the queen. Upon further inspection, I noticed two clusters of bees. In one, there was a wasp, and in the other, the queen making noise. I couldn't record the event because my hands were busy rescuing the queen from the tight grip of the other bees. The cluster was broken up, and the queen flew out, circling above the hive. I had to catch the queen in flight. At first I caught a bee and got stung in the hand. The next time, the queen was knocked back into the hive from which she had flown. The bees tried to surround the queen, but I quickly grabbed her and took her out. Unfortunately, I didn't have a queen cage with me, so holding the queen in my hand, I went to get one. Meanwhile, one of the bees started biting the queen in my hand. Luckily, I managed to put the queen into the cage and moved her to another place. I returned the bees sitting on the frame back into the box and closed it. Now, about the mistakes. I took older bees, which in the fall don't readily accept new queens. Ideally, it's best to use young bees, up to 14 days old. Additionally, the split was placed in the hive with a large colony, and the bees sensed stronger pheromones from the main queen. Because of this, they wanted to eliminate the weaker queen. What's next? The small colony will remain closed for another day. The queen will be reintroduced, but this time I'll place her in a separate nuke.